Hello, hi, my name's Sam, and today I'll be giving a workshop on making music with Replit. And this workshop was originally created for Replicon 2022, and now I'm making a recording for everyone else to watch. So first of all, let's take a look at what we'll make in this workshop. Awesome, so let's just get right into it. So the first big question is, how do we turn code into music. So there are a variety of code to music tools. So two of my favorites, Sonic Pi, which is a desktop editor, uh, Ruby based, you write code and it runs it into music. Search it up. There's some beautiful live code and performances on it. Tone.js is a JavaScript based one, which you can do in a web environment and you can just make synth and stuff. Also insanely cool, but today, the one I've chosen to focus this workshop around is something called Hat Club Muse, which is a language embedded in the JavaScript environment for music creation. It's kind of a mix of both Tone.js and uh, Sonic Pi. So we'll see exactly how the uh, language mechanics work shortly, but here's a quick snippet of what it looks like. Um, so you write out notes and you can play them in and then we'll see how that works in JavaScript shortly. So, but to, to do that, if you're interested in following along uh, with this quick tutorial, head to uh, this link here. Uh, and when you're ready to go, click fork REPL. Awesome. So welcome into the starter project. So uh, what you wanna gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna head to script.js and this way you can write your music. So. All we're going to be doing is creating a very simple song today, just as a little in introduction to the tool. Uh, and then I'll encourage you to head off and create your own songs. So um, what we're going to want to do is inside this muse.play, we're going to write, want to write a string um, of code, basically, that, that's in the muse programming language that will uh, tell it what music to make. So for example, let's start by making one note. So let's go with A4. So we can click run um, and then we can click play and you'll hear A4. Now, what if we want to make it a little bit longer? Well, we can add in A plus and also want to add another note so we can have B3. And what this does is this is a little pause here. So uh, it can just pause it a little bit so we can hear it. So let's play that. There we go. So. Now, I want to make the B3 shorter, so I'm going to go minus, and let's see what that does. Now, it's a bit difficult to hear quickly, but try your best. So there we go. So now that we've got A4, B3, you know, we're kind of starting to make a chord. So what we can do is we can create a chord by creating a bracket like that. Now, uh, I'm personally not too much of a big fan of this B3 combo, so I'm going to Let's instead use C5. So let's go with C5 and let's make the break in between them a little bit shorter. And with a chord, we can actually make it repeat. So we can go times two. So that'll make it go twice. So let's play this. There we go. All right. So now um, let's add in one more note for this one. Uh, and let's add in a pause in between it. So let's go with. C5, E5, and then there we go. Awesome, and let's let's listen into that. Okay, yeah, that's starting to sound all right. Now, um, what we also want to do is we want to um, let's create another chord. We don't want just one chord in the song. So let's start. Let's start by. Well, let's use this chord, and what we'll do is. We'll modify it slightly by using the offset. So that'll make it sound consistent, but we'll offset it by five. And this will offset it in a positive direction. So let's listen into that. Awesome. Okay. And let's do, let's add one more uh, line into this song, quick song we've made here. And let's offset it in the negative direction by three. 
And let's see what that sounds like. Awesome. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a song going on there. Now, you could go on for hours making more and more songs, but I won't take up your time. Use your own creativity um, and go explore. Um, and here are some tips I have uh, for that process. So start small, then repeat. So as you saw with our chords, uh, you don't have to write a song note by note. You can repeat notes, use combinations of notes, chords, uh, create layers you, with multiple muse.plays. We didn't do that in that example, but you can do multiple muse.plays to have multiple layers of sound playing at once. Uh, use chords, as I mentioned earlier, and then stay organized. As you can hear, a lot of things are starting to happen. Uh, so make sure you go slow and steady and keep track so you don't have music flying all over the place because it can get a little bit insane. Um, and if you're looking for a cheat sheet, here's a cheat sheet of notes uh, and things. I recommend screenshotting it um, so you can use it at any time you'd like. And once you're done making your song, uh, feel free to share it with the Replit community uh, with the tag, hashtag music. And some quick acknowledgements. Thank you to Leo who created Muse and the workshop that inspired the session. And thank you for coming. Uh, this has been Making Music with Replit. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and have a wonderful day. See ya.